It's all about being tough and rugged this week, starting first with the world's first Windows 8 enterprise grade ruggedized tablet. Toughpad FZG1 from Panasonic is the world's first Windows 8 tablet designed for field workers seeking durability to withstand wear and tear from the elements. Windows 8 Pro tablet runs on third generation Ivy Bridge i5 processor, powered by 4GB RAM and a whopping 128GB of SSD storage in a tablet. A beast in terms of look and feel, the tablet is designed to be used outdoors and is tucked in a magnesium alloy frame and rubber bumpers that can withstand drops in 26 directions from up to 4 feet. But surprisingly, for a fully rugged tablet, FZG1 feels surprisingly light at 1.1 kilos, even though it's double the weight of an average tablet. The tablet boasts a 10.1 inch screen with 1920 by 1200 resolution IPS display with up to 10 finger capacitive multi touch and an onboard digitizer. The tablet offers Wi Fi and Bluetooth in terms of connectivity with 3G or 4G module as optional. Now, you may or may not like the way this tablet looks, but there's no way you can dispute its performance or ruggedness. Now, besides being shock resistance up to 4 feet, it's also dust as well as waterproof. But I have one question and that's the only one question that I'm going to put across to each and every organization out there in this country. And that is, are you willing to spend 1 lakh 75,000 rupees plus taxes for the workers in your field force? And that's where I think there's your caveat. And now to an enterprise offering that is not just watered down in ruggedness, but more importantly, also in pricing. ElitePad 900 from Hewlett Packard is an enterprise offering disguised in consumer-oriented form factor. The Windows 8 tablet is powered by a 1.8 GHz dual-core Intel Atom processor, supported by 2 GB of RAM, besides an Intel Graphics Media Accelerator GPU. For shutter bugs, the tablet offers an 8 megapixel rear camera with autofocus and LED flash. The 10.1-inch multi-touch display sports a 1280x800-pixel resolution with Gorilla Glass 2 and while it's bright and vivid, it's also too reflective due to which under-sun visibility is difficult. Also with 64GB of SSD storage capacity, it's enough for consumer offering but may fall short for an enterprise offering. The tablet also lets you down on ports front with no built-in USB or micro-USB port. But to make up for that, the tablet in fact can be bundled with these various jackets and accessories that bridge the gap between a tablet and a laptop without classifying it a hybrid or a convertible. Having said that, there is a problem and the problem is they will cost you anywhere between 7 to 15,000 rupees over and above the 43,000 price tag that you will pay for the tablet. Now it's not enormous but it's a lot considering that you'll have to buy one for each and every member of your field force.